this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV, Episode Arden. Let's start Chapter 3, back at Insomnia. Let's start this party with a bang! Testing, one, two, three. Is this thing on? <laughs> Greetings, people of the Kingdom of Lucis. Do forgive me for interrupting the festivities. But I must tell you, this day of rapturous reverie shall be your last. That's... Call it divine retribution. Both literally and False figuratively. False kings and fraudulent nations are fated to perish. I love Arden's demeanor throughout his whole speech. So entertaining. Who is he? We've yet to ID him. Don't you know? You've sent a lot of people to try and kill him. Whoever he is, it's clear he wishes us harm. Well, gee, you Please think? Stay here. What gave you that idea? The fire? I'm going to put a stop to this madman. How powerful could he possibly be? Well, but since we're controlling Arden, it's our job to murder as many Crown's Guard as possible. So let's get in there. I would like to try and demonify as many enemies as I can. Because there's an achievement for demonifying a hundred enemies. Okay, so you see how I... Uh, what is that? Demonified multiple consecutive enemies? The way that works is Arden has a five-hit blitz combo while you're just holding down the circle button there. And on the fifth hit, you'll knock down any enemies that are nearby. And if there are multiple enemies that are knocked down, then you can demonify them consecutively and earn an extra AP per enemy that you demonify. So that's pretty nice. Also, demonifying enemies fills up the phantasmal gauge. Okay, I think I got a couple there. Yeah, there we go. Not sure how I missed the last one, but in any case, let's uh, yeah, finish them off. Let's see, I also want to use Royal Retribution as much as I can because there's an achievement for using it ten times. Same thing for Ifrit there. He's basically like a guest for now. And you can use techniques with Ifrit there. So let's put the only one we have to use, Faraga. If I can uh, get into the tech menu. There we go. And there's an achievement for using Ifrit's techniques ten times as well. So yeah, lots of achievements to watch out for. So don't worry about uh, demonifying multiple consecutive enemies. If you just do them one at a time, that's more than good enough. Think you can kill me? He probably would like to see them try. I mean, after being imprisoned for thousands of years, death would probably be welcome to him. So, normally I don't really care about using Ifrit's techniques outside of boss fights, but I want to get the achievements. Okay, let's go after that. There we go. Not bad, not bad. What's going on? Whatever do you mean? Now I need you to locate and destroy the devices amplifying the wall. Oh, okay. Just sit back and enjoy the show. Now where in the world might those dastardly devices? Arden looks like he's just enjoying himself. But uh okay, so throughout Insomnia we have all these amplifiers with the uh, red circles on them. So we need to destroy those so that, uh, what is it, Niflheim can invade and everything. There's also 77 treasures that we can pick up around here. I've marked the location of all the devices they're using to amplify the wall. Oh. They seem to be positioned on rooftops around the city. Find them and destroy them. 
With pleasure. You don't need to destroy all of them, but there's an achievement for doing so. So I will be doing that. Okay, so another thing here, uh, just like episode Ignis, we have the ability to immediately ascend to the roof of a building with the L2 button. So that's one way you can get around here. So let's see. To start, for the data log entries, yeah, you get a, a yeah, a data log entry for every kind of royal guard that you kill. Sometimes you might not get all of them in the first batch of enemies. If there's some amount of variance to it, but we'll be killing a lot of them. So you'll get them pretty much automatically as you go. So let's see, that one you get for defeating, well, any Crown's Guard soldier there. There's also entries for various objects that you can destroy around the city. So let's see what we can do with that. So we got a, uh, what is that, a loudspeaker or something? Whatever that thing was. So let's see, let's check that one out. Let's see, ah, there it is, yeah, right at the bottom there. There's also three entries that you're not going to be able to get in the first playthrough because you unlock them for beating it. So, yeah, we want to get as many as we can, at least while we're doing this. So let's see, we got a little pillar here. You get an entry for that one as well. Let's see, I think I saw, yeah, an armored vehicle. Destroy one of those. You get another entry for that as well. I'm just going to hit these up one right after the other. Get as many of them out of the way as I can and then fill in the gaps as I go. Let's see, we got a flagpole there. If I can... Uh, let see, I think I can target lock it. Yeah, there we go. And destroy one of those that way. You also get points for destroying objects. And sometimes they'll drop an item, but I think that's pretty much random. I'm not precisely sure how that works. It does not contribute to the 77 treasure total, though. Oh, yeah, we also have a little save point over there as well. I'll use that in a little bit. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got loudspeakers, flagpoles. I do that? Let's see. I thought there was... Ah, there's one. Okay, so this one is a little tricky because unlike all the other objects we destroy, this one doesn't have, like, a label on it. Well, okay, let's deal with these guys first and then we'll destroy the object. So, yeah, usually the fastest way of dealing with these guys is to demonify them. Just hit them five times. Demonify them. Boom, you're good to go. How tragically weak you are. Okay, so we got this massive TV here that, that we can destroy. Is. So, whatever you call that thing. What was that? Uh, Jumbotron! There we go. So, yeah, that one can be a little tricky to find sometimes. But there's one right at the start, so that's pretty easy there. Okay, so let's make a save here. And then we'll start going after the wall amplifiers. I want to go after those first before, like, going around, collecting treasure, killing enemies, things like that. Most of the achievements I can just do as I go. There's one of them I'm not going to be able to do, though. But that's okay. I mean, I'll get it later, but just not Perhaps in this playthrough. Okay, so let's see. Why don't we go over to that one? Start there and work our way clockwise around the city. So, yeah, just fly all the way over there. Oh, yeah, we got a, a big balloon there. So you could just warp strike to destroy one of them. There's a big balloon and a regular balloon data log entry. I'm not really sure why that's important, but they 
put it there so we can collect them all. There is no achievement for getting all the data log entries, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I want to look out for another, just a regular balloon to destroy. Let's see what we got. Okay, well then, let's just go after the Royal Guards, and we gotta destroy the monofonts in the corners of the amplifier. So, yeah, just go after those guys. Uh-oh. Okay, where are you guys? Where are they? Okay, there you are. Okay, now, let's just use Royal Retribution on all of them. Haha! -ha! Yeah, bots of AP. Oh yeah, I suppose I should have gone over this a little bit before, but yeah, you generate AP to unlock new abilities for Arden, so you can actually get stronger as you play along. What a concept! So yeah, I like how they do that in episode Arden, and I want to start with Phantom Fade, which is basically a double jump command. It is really, really nice. See, the rest of these abilities, I don't really care about that much. You don't have to get them in order. You can just skip around to the end, like Mug. I guess I could get some items from killing enemies. But yeah, most of these abilities that we get, I, I don't really care for that much. See, the bottom row has some new techniques for Ifrit, which I'll want to get. And this row just has, yeah, little stat boosts. So I guess it's better than nothing. So, and there is an achievement for unlocking everything on the Dissension there. So I will want to work on that as I go. I'm going to have to kill a lot of enemies to make that happen. Okay. Well, if I can get one of these guys right next to the Monophants, so much the better. Aha! You're not doing a very good job of commencing your elimination. Okay, what do we got? Let's see, just one. I think I'll save my Royal Retribution for multiple enemies. Okay, destroy the last Monophant. There we go. Why'd the music cut out? For boss time against the guardian of wall amplifier. Okay, so let's uh, put this to use for royal retribution. Wow, that's a lot of blades there. And while they are on the ground, just wail on them. Eventually, I'll summon Ifrit to do something. And let's try and demonify them, or whatever I can do. Okay, now let's go with Fyraga on them. And let's see. If I can get behind them, that would be nice. Maybe they'll focus their attention on Ifrit for a little while. Okay, where'd you go? Whoa! Okay, let's, uh... I can't really see them. That would make it a lot easier for me to be able to actually fight. Okay. Uh, yeah. Why don't we get another Fyraga going here? Okay. Where are you? Whoop. Uh, okay. Let's get in melee range if I can. Haha! -ha, gotcha. Yeah. Whenever they parry your attacks, make sure you press the triangle button to... Uh, what is it? To counter-attack them. Hooray! One down, I think six to go. And for, yeah, uh, breaking down one of the wall amplifiers, yeah, we get a whole bunch of new icons around here. Treasures to find, and various shops around here. I don't really take advantage of the shops, but, well, maybe I can take a look at it. So, Alright, let's see what we got around here. 
Try to get as many of these treasures as we can. Doesn't seem to have had any effect just yet. It doesn't? Keep going for now. Huh. Okay. Oh, yeah, I already did all that. But, uh, how many do I got now? Okay. I want to go for Mug next. So that way I can get as many items from enemies as I can. Sir, one of the wall amplifiers has been destroyed. Ha ha. How do you target them? Is this a nip attack? That's the idea. What do you think it was? Imperial soldiers inside or outside the wall, sir. Then they must have sent him to do their dirty work. Stop him at Ha ha. Sir. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Yeah, these guys are going to be all over the place. Whoa, uh, stay on the ground there, so I can demonify them. Okay, now we got our Phantasmal Gauge ready to go. Let's try and put that to more use. Until I get the achievement, at least. Normally, I wouldn't use it on just one enemy. He probably means that. But, uh, okay, so let's see. Around here. Let's see, is this one, like, much higher up? Or. I can see the treasure. Ah, there it is. I can see the treasure right in front of me. Best place to hide something. So, yeah, pretty much this is how the whole process is gonna work going throughout Insomnia. Take down a wall amplifier and collect treasures in the area. Let's uh, get around here, since it looks like there's a treasure down here. Uh, Arden never takes fall damage, as you can see. So don't worry about that. <laughs> Baval. Yeah, they got a whole bunch of references to locations in Final Fantasy games here. Okay, let's see, we should have one here. Let's see, another one will be up top there. Ah, there we go. Okay, most of these items are not, like, actually usable. They're just for you to sell for money to buy stuff. Whether it's, like, items. Basically very similar to Episode Ignis. Okay, where are you? There you are. I knew there was one more. Ha-ha! There we go. Keep the modifying. Can't say you didn't try. <laughs> well, the combo didn't go too well, but that's okay. All right, so let's yeah keep going around here. Let's see, a couple of them are down below. So let's go up and around to get around to them. Let's see how far down are they? All the way. Okay, we can do it that way. All right, where's the other one? Thought there was one. Uh, let's uh. Just have to kill you all at once. Yeah, we'll have to deal with them. Oh yeah, you can destroy vehicles too. Ha ha! There we go. Woo! Nice. Two of them. Okay, what do we got? Just the one. Okay. We'll just go with that to finish them all off. Very nice. How tragically weak you are. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so there's one. Hmm. See, I think this one's not all the way at the top. Yeah, there's some objects that are, like, not at the very roof of a building. Ah, there's the other one. So sometimes there's balconies you gotta look out for. Fortunately, unlike episode Ignis, they actually tell me where the treasures are. So I don't have to go around blind forever to find everything. Don't have to look in every single nook and cranny. Don't let him escape. But these guys will to find me. Haha! Consecutive kill. Very nice. See what we can do with these guys. This is going 
Okay, I think I can only kill the one. Yeah. I was thinking the other crown guard was knocked down, but that wasn't with my blitz combo. So, yeah, that doesn't count. That was totally disappointing. Yeah, let's keep on destroying things around here. Well, it's just a flagpole. How hard could it possibly be to replace? Have I gotten any more data log entries? Let's see. Oh, well, we got the Rogue Guardian, the one that we just killed there. But, yeah, there's still a whole bunch of objects that we just haven't found yet. Okay, well then, let's go see around. Yeah, let's just... Oh, wait, no, there's one right over there. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just go up and around. Enough already. Who wants to die? Step right up. Everyone, apparently. Whoop, uh, watch out for that when they... Get a, set up a barrier like that, you won't be able to finish your combo on them. And they'll be able to counterattack you. If I can get behind them to blindside them, then I could just instantly demonify them. But that doesn't work as well as I would like. Or as often as I would like. Okay, so... Somewhere... We've got more guys to kill. Awesome. Uh, if I could attack them, that would be very nice. Okay. And I'm using a target lock here, because Arden controls very much like uh, Noctis there, which would make sense. Hey! hey Alright! There's the achievement for 10... Uh, what is it? Royal Retributions? There's a regular balloon. And let's see, I think we get another data log entry for that one. Very nice there. Let's see. Okay, so where are these treasures? Oh, that one, well, maybe not quite hidden in with the grass there. Or bushes. Whatever they got going on around here. Okay, let's just circle around to get a whole bunch more of those treasures. Oh, oh dear. Did I do that? Really, game? You're ah, making that so reference? Right. Huh. Hmm. Well, in any case, we destroyed a statue. That's another... Let's see. Icon there. So, let's see. We've got two more that we can actually get. I know one of them off the top of my head. Oh, I think I know what the other one is, too. Oh. I suppose so. Okay. Hmm. I don't know that I've ever seen that happen before. Ah, there we go. There's the treasure. I I knew that was there. I marked it on my map. I better know that that was there. Okay, so over there, we got a signboard that we can destroy. There you go. Yeah, just destroy everything while you're at it. Cars. Although there's no entry for that. Whoa. Uh oh. Too bad. Hmm, I wonder what's causing this to happen. I spent hours practicing episode art and, and I never saw that before. Hmm. Oh, in any case, let's see. So we got that signboard there. So that's another... Or wait, did I... Oh, I, I think I already had that one. Yeah, I think I already had that one. Okay, uh, never mind then. Carry on! And let's get what treasures we got around here. Let's see, this one... Yeah, right in the middle of all that stuff. You can also press the square button to move around a little quickly there, but it takes a lot of MP to do that. Not that I really use my MP that much. Okay, let's see. Looks like we're going to have to go up for this one. Where are you? Ah, there it is. Okay, and I think that's all of the treasures we can get in this sector. So let's head on back. 
uh, to uh, one of the benches. Well, better luck next time, I suppose. Hmm, I wonder if this has to do with, like, try. defeating <laughs> the Guardians in... Uh, what is it? In the Sector. And maybe that's what causes this to happen. Because usually I just go, like, one right after the other after the other. And I don't worry about that. But alright, so we got a good handle on getting started here. Uh, Insomnia, and we still got a bunch more achievements and data log entries to collect around here. Next time, I'm about to play Final Fantasy XV Episode Arden. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!